Okay, we're gonna we're gonna win this, right? Alright guys. We're gonna win this dog. Whatever the CTF <laughs> mean, Metro. I like how CTF Metro is nothing more than the conquest map with like uh, the interview of the map on each end cut off. Why is that the other location? Uh, no, no, I mean the dominated map. Like the position, the fucking flag position, bro. This is the laziest fucking map I've ever seen in my life. Is all they did was like uh, cut some of the U.S. spawn off. Uh, you have never played shipments in Call of Duty Four. Shipment. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Fuck shipment. Attack that objective, You're welcome. One v one me on shipment, bro. Except no one played Shipman to 1v1. Shipman was, uh, 464 players only. Yep. You gotta level up your guns fast, bro. <laughs> and you Why can level them up fast, you can level up your guns per round. It's... No, it's it was like, done. It's just falling... It's just designed for, like, medium range. Yeah, but honestly, like, this map is actually, like, fine on Dom because you get random spawns. Mm -hmm. So you can't, like, it's not like on, uh, Conquest where, you, like, you get, like, the lines from choke points forming. Yeah, yeah. that's true. It actually does start randomly. Damn, this yeah. one in Dusky. I killed towards, myself uh, and then I I love that Sam Dusky is going to be more. He's gonna, he's already back to see. Yeah, I see what you mean. Basically, they shouldn't be conquest as it exists. Dom should be it because of the random spawns. I got it. Actually, though, if they did random spawns when you were, like, capped out, that would actually do a great deal to fix a lot of the problems with some of the maps. Yep. They're coming from behind. Uh, we'll fight them. Yeah, they got yeah. two now. Area. This scar uh, DMR is really kind of good. Huh? None of the DMRs are like bad. It's just goons or babies. Well, they used to be. Also, the first DMR is yeah, still they used bad. to be. I mean, it's, it's still bad compared to like the second DMR. Right? Most DMs. No, I have the RFP more than the Mark Eleven. No, no, seriously. Like post patch, I leveled up the DMR on Silk Road now, and the first DMR is way worse than the second. Like, it took me way longer to get to the second DMR than, like, it took me to get the third, using the second. And that's a straight up Silk Road DMR. I like how, like, Silk Road is, like, the biggest map and Silk Road Dom is the smallest. I think it is. It's pretty big though, yeah. So, are the irons on the G36 off? No, but the scopes are. We have lost objective Alpha. Hot suit. Drone jam, go to hell. Way more. Okay, I got my scar canted iron sights. So that means I can have dual iron sights? You can't use can always use can cannon iron sights on the DMRs. It's really good. So they're better than the default. We have taken uh, because that way you can use both you can sort of quickly switch between the 4X scope, which you need on the DMR and iron sights, which are useful on a DMR. Well, the weird thing is, I wasn't even aware I had a scope. I'm not using a scope. I didn't think I heard a scope on this thing. No, you should have, uh, if, if you got the cannon irons, then that's when it kills and you get the, uh, 4x at 10 pills. Your next unlock is gonna be one of, is gonna be the, uh, angled grip, which will, uh, complete the set. The angled grip's really important on most of the DMRs, because it cuts recoil a lot. Thanks. Especially since they're in semi-auto. Makes sense. Like, the only, uh, the only ones, uh, the SKS and the, uh, QBU are good with the, uh, Ergo Grip, though. 
because they don't have as much uh, recoil multiplier, and they are uh, like good for mid range, close range. Something weird just happened. I was just running along, and I just got three hit markers in a row. You triggered something to collapse, or an Ow. explosion. What do you guys prefer, the Prisma 3.4x or the ACOG 4x? The Prisma. I like the ones that had the tick marks to help me leave. If you're going, for, if you're on a DMR, then the 3.4x is probably going to be more useful. Gotcha. Thanks. I like the Prisma really because the, a the enemy of the ACOG, all of the, the uh, Chevron scopes don't work like they do in real life, so instead of putting their head, you have to put their head right on the tip of the triangle, not above it like you should. I kind of like this Chevron scope some more because it like obscures less, I find. Like, it is less like, it's not as noisy, there's not as much like crap that gets in the way. Objective Bravo is now neutralized. We've just taken Objective Bravo. So taking C, good time to take A. Hostile missions that are spotted. Well, no, bunch of coming from A to B. Hi, time tripping. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a beautiful sight in my kill cam. I keep forgetting to put down. Down spawn beacons. My bad. You guys could use some. And Renegade Sniper is still refusing to snipe. I guess that's what makes him a Renegade, though. Renegade There's a bunch of them in the elevator. I think they're all gone now. Most of us got shotgun, yeah. Objective Charlie has been neutralized. Charlie. I'm sorry. Can you not go downstairs using those elevators? Yeah, you can. If you get in them while they're open, a pop, but uh, you can't call them or get in them while they're uh, just, you know, on you. That's too bad. Oh, and dang it. Oh, no, no. no. I have a. Yeah, don't use the elevators, they're called C4. <laughs> Literally made of C4. Fucking guy. Piss him off. Makes his Saiga so cool, doesn't he? Oh, they're coming to the stairs. Losing big. Field upgrade score. What am I even getting with this upgrade score? I'm forgetting. Uh, perks. No, no my reduced well, fall damage. Tree I, chose. I have the anti tank on for some just, reason. Just look at the picture. It puts unique pictures to tell you. Yeah, it looks yeah, like it looks like like defensive. I'm on indirect fire, which is dumb because we're like inside. So fire directly, duh. The only one I ever use. Oh no, man, this guy's clan good, tag but... is pro. Man, I think he's good. Play more hacking. Oh, yeah. who's really knows for you. about not being able to uh, lean with the shotguns? Because that happened to me. Yeah, I can. Uh, yeah, because it happened to me just now, uh, I got rezzed, though, is the thing. Hmm. Like, I could, and then I got rezzed. Like, I was, uh, leaning, and I got killed, and then I got rezzed. And now it's not letting me lean. Where am I le leaning? Yeah, I can't lean with the handguns, either. Oh, damn it.
that guy hiding in that room not dead? You got him. Magic. I can feel the magic. Feel the magic X X Y. <laughs> huh? Uh, everyone's favorite Nintendo DS game. Oh, 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 oh I forgot that game. That game it didn't weird. slow me, felt Oh my god, they're all at the elevators. <laughs> Just well grenades around there, or uh, I mean, X someone like that game is too. That game like looked too weird. Not to make Phil let's play it, but I don't know if Slow Beef would do it. Go to LPArchive.org. There are opening elevators again. That was like it was like WarioWare, but with innuendo. Was what I heard the game no, was. Ah, close the same fast. Like what? WarioWare, but with a lot of innuendo. Yes, it was WarioWare with innuendo. And like really abstract representations of people. Like abstract in a weird way, not WarioWare cartoon anime people. Oh yeah, they were like they were like silhouettes or something, but wearing. Yeah, everyone was like. Like I never played it, but I just like I like saw shit about it because it was just so weird. You could also beat uh, the game in like 30 minutes. So, it's shorter than even WarioWare. It's not written there. Really. Rhythm Heaven is so good. I, I pushed up to be. My, my then get the PS yes, yeah. water. And I just. I oh, was hey, not so good at it, so I just watched her play. Is it there's a like, like WarioWare? Hey. Hey, Kazuki. Hey, Kazuki. Keep your B. Oh god, B. Keep your B between your eyes. Oh, come on. Get a slug right to your chest. Wow, sis. Slugs don't do it. Yeah, <laughs> the semi auto slugs aren't one hit. How many kills was that, so sad, man? Wait, are, are pump slugs uh, one hit? No, pump, that pump, was like 8 or 9. Pump slugs are like hit. No, it the double thing is that it has uh, kills. The semi-auto slugs are 75, so it takes a while before it drops off enough to not kill all the slugs. So the semi-auto slugs, ironically, are better at long range than the pump slugs. Yeah, slugs are really good at busting uh, autos. The way they model shotguns in video games is weird. They model them the way Doom model them. You I see, a game that came out in 1993 worked like that, so we should obviously do it the same I way. I don't think Doom had this weird auto, semi auto dichotomy that games do. You see, see shotguns work like this. But what I, what I really hate though is like when games make shotguns and it's like they're only good for like 10 meters. And so then you play a game shotgun. that has a real shotgun and you're like, fuck, this is stupid. It's like armor and you get stacked by a shotgun using buckshot. Like in this game, like shotguns are decent at mid range even if you're not using slug. Yep. Yeah, Battlefield, you know, doesn't have to like nerf shotgun range that bad because its actual rate engagement range is so long. So it works in Battlefield. We've now control objective alpha. Okay, we got alpha. Like I remember like I read like the dumbest uh this is like the dumbest change log note ever for bad company to uh, increase shotgun damage at close range, but decrease the spread to make them behave more like shotguns. And then like no now they're behaving less like shotguns, they're behaving more like what video game developers think shotguns are like. Like I was Oh yeah, Bad Company 2 shotguns were, were pretty good too. But yeah. they also had shorter ranges than most battlefields. Usually. So. Mm. And also its slugs were insane, but kind of stupid because they had less drop off than regular guns. No, the slugs didn't have any uh gravity to them, they just went straight. And yeah, that was no a drop off. Objective alpha. Oh, yeah, no, they had they had they had damage drop off, but like they didn't uh Yeah, I mean I mean fall, fall, uh, Yeah, they didn't have drop. any fall. 
Forever and they're like, that's why, like, every first thing they mentioned about being, like, too good, like, long range was because of that. MVP ribbon! Holy shit! Okay, we Even though the sniper up. rifles were still better at long range because, like, you, the shotguns didn't have iron sights in that game. Uh, so you had to try to aim with, like, the, like, that shitty reticule crosshair thing. I see. Hooray! Been promoted. Oh, oh god. Uh, ribbons! I slept people with claymores. Yeah, which one of you was just planting a claymore every life? That was me, and I was planting three of them. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so many claymore deaths. The claymore is now my number three weapon. Okay, so I got all my DMRs, I got everything except for sniper rifles unlocked. Should I even care about sniper rifles? I'm assuming no, but... What do you guys think? Probably uh -huh. try playing rush servers. Where you can have yeah. like a really narrow sightline of enemies to practice on. I see your point. Well, I mean, like, is there any sniper rifle that's actually worth even using them to, to lesser ones to unlock anyway? Um, the SRR. Is, I think is probably my favorite one. The M98B has the fastest travel time, and I think a lot of people like the full magnum, but that has the dumbest one on the Gotcha. Yeah. You have to get on. You have to get onto the tower at Firestorm, and you have to hit that button, get on the tower, and then get a sniper rifle ribbon on that tower. Five kills. Mm, that's hey, there's a buggy thing coming to this objective alpha. Buggy or I think you can get it from the tower yeah, and cast in order. Gotcha. Oh, speaking of rush. Fargo. Fargo, North Dakota? Fargo, I said. Fargo. Uh, you even get time to load the map before B got armed. <laughs> <laughs> 